Well, Rudy, a disruptive spectator, challenged a self-defense instructor. And that instructor's quick action kept those in the studio safe and turned into a lesson for his students. I'm old and my knees are bad and my shoulders bad. Sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> but never did they imagine actually using those techniques in their own studio. It's definitely a little foreign. On November 23rd, a man they'd seen before came into the building. When he came back this time, uh, he had a bow staff with him. He was... Makes total sense. Sure. And then we're going to start stretching on out. He's, down. He He's leading the warm-ups. Staff asked the man to stop, but he grew more disruptive and was asked to leave. Okay, can I just be critical real quickly? Please. If this guy had been in before and acted erratically, I feel like they should have asked him or escorted him out a lot sooner. Um, why is somebody in there watching classes if you're not a student anyways? To me, again, the wife did say this, how quickly things escalated. So yeah, I think knowing and letting him sit there, stand there, act erratically in front of you, your students, your wife. I don't know, I probably would have been a little bit more proactive in getting him out before waiting till it got to a point where he had to take him down. When he turned to my wife and yelled at her, uh, I started to move in. He clenched his fist and I tied up with him. Holding him until police came. He was very articulate. Uh, there were times where he was calling out the moves that uh, I was holding him in. So he obviously had some training uh, to know these things. So this is just a public service announcement for attackers. If you guys can call out the actual moves that are being used on you <laughs> while being, uh, you know, attacked back. Extra points for you guys. Yeah. It as a teachable moment. Here you can see Mike moving to transition to full mount. The one thing that I think people can take away from this is they can see how quickly um, something can escalate from seemingly absolutely nothing. I can just say this. I've owned martial arts schools now for about 28 years. And, you know, years ago when we were raising our sons, Stephanie would stay at home, be raising our boys. Uh, and so I would be at the martial arts school uh, teaching classes. You do every once in a while get people walking on in and sometimes they have questions that become overzealous where they think they know the answer or a better answer. I have had people walk on in, check out classes, but then they think they have a better technique and they wanna all of a sudden insert themselves into the <laughs> instruction. That does happen every once in a while. We have had it happen once or twice where someone comes on in and then I do believe that they start uh, kind of becoming more of a threat to my own student safety. Yeah. So I will have to step on in and lay down the law a little bit more by giving them a little bit more resistance or countering whatever moves they think that they can put on someone. So it does happen, I'll just say that. To a hands-on confrontation. As for the man. I don't think he needs jail time, but he needs to be in a facility that can help him recover from what he's suffering from. <laughs> The man was detained shortly, but not arrested after the altercation. And shortly after, he returned to the family dollar next door, causing problems there. Police Did he bring the bow staff? <laughs> sure, but again, just being proactive of like not letting this go on as long as they allowed it to happen, I guess. But I will give him props that, again, knowing how to detain someone or restrain someone is so important. Yes. It's, a, it's an important part of self-defense yeah. um, because obviously he didn't want to cause this guy severe harm, damage, destruction. He just wanted to get him out of the place. He wanted to restrain him until police could come. So I think that's an important part of knowing how to restrain someone in a position until help can come. I think that's an important skill to have and he did show this he went to mount he got him into good positioning held him there so i mean i think that was great props to another krav maga brother let's sure. just say that <laughs>